Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No Known Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the content library. I have had several issues um, and several questions regarding the content library and uh, why it's grayed out or why it's not appearing. So I'm, today I'm going to do my best to hopefully solve this issue for everybody. Go into head and open up iMovie and as soon as you open it your iMovie may look something similar to this you don't currently have the content library for example like right here at the bottom and if you go up to the very top go to window and you go to content library it's also grayed out in the options here so you have no you basically have no access as of right now to the content library now first things first what you're going to need to do if you haven't already you're going to want to create an event which is going to be one of these little items on the left hand side here. If you go to right click or if you put two fingers on your touchpad and push in, you'll get this uh, the right click option as well. And you can go ahead and create new event. And uh, since I already have an event, I'm not going to create one. Go ahead and name it whatever you would like. And uh, I'm going to go in my normal films event. And what you're wanting to do is you're going to show you a bunch of projects in here right here at the bottom. Or you can, if it's not open for you, go ahead and double click it one more time. and. Uh, Actually, if it's a new event, you're not going to have any projects within it. I have projects because it's an event I already have. So what you're going to do is selecting this event, the new event you created, go ahead and hit new at the very top of, up here, and you're going to go to movie. This is basically you're creating a project. Select the theme you'd like. I always go none because I don't like themes. <laughs> I mean, they're very good and handy, but I don't like them and I'd like to create my own type of theme. And then we want it under the no and more films event or the event that you created. And then here you can name the project where you'd like. I'm gonna name this test, for example. And I'll go ahead and hit okay. And now you'll see a new project within here. It should open it right up for you guys. And then you should see the content library down here appear at the bottom left hand corner. Now we're within the project test and uh, just in case it didn't open you up in the project window down here, go ahead and double click on test and it should open it up for you. Um, in my case, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete it and use uh, other as the example here. For example, let's say you already have a project though open and uh, I mean, you already have a project within your event. Just go ahead and double click on that project just to open it up. That way the content library on the left hand side, bottom left hand side here goes up and shows up. So now that we have that up, I'm actually gonna expand this a little bit so we can see what's going on here and uh, mute my audio as well. But yeah, see mine as of right now, my content library shows up and sometimes people's are still, it's still grayed out or it's still not showing up. So what I'm going to have you go ahead and try now, uh, I think I just <laughs> attempted to load them all, but you're going to go up to the very top, you're going to go to Window, you're going to go to Content Library, and you're going to go ahead and try to select one of them from here. It shouldn't be grayed out, it should be all here. Now for last resort, if uh, your Content Library is still not showing up, you're within a project, you're within an event, you have a project open, and uh, your Content Library is still grayed out or it's still not there, go ahead and then close out of iMovie by going to iMovie and go to Quit iMovie. That will completely shut it down and I also suggest checking the App Store, seeing if there are any app, um, iMovie updates. And if there are, go ahead and update. And then the last resort would be to go to the Apple icon and go to Restart and then go ahead and restart the computer. If you hit Restart, you want to make sure this box right here is unchecked, reopen Windows will log back in. That way it gives it a full restart. And that's basically it. Hopefully the content library, you'll be able to find it now. Be sure to leave any comments or in the comment section below, or let's say your content library is still missing, go ahead and let me know, and I'll do some more further research for you guys, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next video, and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.